Hello again, we are back with another high score event in Pokemon Masters EX. Right now we're going to be challenging Marlin. So I put together both Cygnusuit Blue and Blastoise and Misty and Psyduck to help increase stat buffs. While Urshifu will Water Strike down its opponents as fast as it can with Surging Water Strikes. This is the Kento G-Max Water Build that I created. The strength in this battle is plus 400 with 15,000 points which you saw me adjust earlier. The challenge in this battle is that if you bring a strike sync pair, all five of its stats will significantly be reduced. Which is why we bring out Gloria, EX, and Urshifu. Gloria and Urshifu are a tech sync pair that deals great damage and multi hits. Cygnusuit Blue and Blastoise as the main character will also increase with stat buffs. Partnered alongside Blue is Misty. Misty and Psyduck will also help increase stat buffs. To make this team work at a very high strength at the expert level of 15,000 points, both Blastoise and Psyduck must use their sync move. So the first sync move that you see here is from Blastoise. I do appreciate the safety net that it provides once the first sync move initiates. In addition, I also appreciate the fact that we have a healer, which is Misty. Misty's going to be able to use Potion on Blue's Blastoise during the duration of this battle. All right, the first sync move for our opponent is about to hit. And so, of course, you don't want to have that happen at the very beginning. We wanna make sure that Blastoise or Psyduck uses their sync move first. So now the second sync move from Misty and Psyduck is about to happen, which is going to be great because we get a level of four sync stat buffs. Okay. And in addition, what I like about Blastoise in any of the battles that you are going to be using Blastoise if you have the Sync Pair is that it has Water Pulse. So you can see that earlier, Water Pulse confused Marlon's Caracosta, which gives you a thousand extra points. Because that's one of the challenges, is that if you can be able to confuse your opponent, you get an extra thousand points at the very end of the battle. And it looks like in this battle we have about 40 hits, 40 plus hits and it's nice because of surging strikes and you know that's the whole point you want to make sure you have a high hit count and uh, right here is where I'm gonna use my sick move now keep in mind that the damage that was seen there about 70,000 points is because Urshifu is a six star EX with a sync grid build of level three all right so now I'm really focused on Pokemon on the side. Now what is annoying about this battle is that Marlin was able to increase the evasiveness of the team, the allied team's Pokemon. You saw that miss there. It is a, quite a nuisance and you might want to keep repeating the battle to get a very good score. But because of evasiveness increase, it can mess around with your Pokemon and trying to complete the battle. What's also quite a challenge is that both Rock Slide and Surf hit all your Pokemon. So you need to make sure you're prepared for this kind of battle here. We have the next sync move. We're at a 61 hit count, which is quite neat. And so now we can just face off this last Pokemon and finish it off. And there you have it. Although the time was 5 minutes and 45, we should have a nice high score. And my final score obtained was 67,221 points thanks to the times 3 multiplier for having all 3 water type Pokemon. And here are the score details. Time trial, more stat increases and more attacks. And we were able to complete all the event rules challenge. And again, opponent strength increased 15,000 points. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your high score in this challenge and I'll see you in the next one.